What's up everybody, Adam here with E-Trailer. Let's take a look at this Kurt Ball mount. So this one's gonna be for your two inch hitch receiver and it's gonna give us a drop of two inches or a rise of three quarters of an inch and it does not come with the ball. So pick whatever ball that you need for your trailers and just make sure it's gonna fit through a inch diameter hole down here. Speaking of the ball, so from the center of the hitch pin hole all the way out, it's gonna be about 10 and a quarter of an inch. So it's not too close to the vehicle, not too far away from the vehicle. And another thing to kind of think about is the construction. So this is steel, has a powder coated finish, so it's not really gonna rust away over time, which is good. And this is gonna give us about 750 pounds of tongue weight and a capacity of 7,500 pounds when it comes to the gross trailer weight. So let's take a look at it. One thing you are gonna have to get is the pin. So it has a 5 8 diameter hole, and we do have a hollow shank. So what I would do is get an anti-rattle device. You can put it on the inside here, and then you can get the hitch pin that comes with it. So with that, you're not gonna see a bunch of play. I just don't like hearing it because you will hear it whenever you're going down the road, especially if it's summer. With me, I mow a lot of grass, so I'm kind of hot. So I keep the windows open and I can literally hear this thing all the time. All my components can feel it. So if you just keep it nice and secure with an anti-rattle device, you're not going to get all of that play. This is basically a mid-level economy way to get a ball mount in the hitch so you can haul your stuff. It's not really fancy, nothing really special with it. This is kind of middle of the road. It's gonna take care of some of the heavier trailers, but also the lighter trailers as well. So if you are doing some heavy duty stuff, this isn't gonna be your ball mount, but everything up to your mid-level trailers, it's gonna be great. So this is the kind that I use whenever I'm mowing grass, but if you want some bigger ones, we have some here at E-Trailer. So if I had this ball mount, one, anti-rattle device, two, I'd probably get a lock just because it's so easy for someone just to come up to here and pull it out. A lot of people have uses for ball mounts and a lot of people have two inch hitches. So there's a lot of people out there that may have sticky fingers. So definitely get a lock for that. When it comes to ball mounts, there's really not a whole lot of things that differentiate it, you know, rise, drop, and then capacity. But if you're wanting to get a little bit more out of your ball mount, because I've had one for close to 12 years and I still use it. So you're gonna use it a lot. If you really wanted to upgrade, I really like the Gen Y glider. So that ball mount, it basically has shock absorbing technologies. So if you were to kind of step up your game and you wanna get a little bit smoother ride, definitely grab the Gen Y glider. But at the end of the day, it's gonna get the job done. And that's basically it for a look at the Kurt ball mount. 